Now, today I'm going to talk to you about ICH E8R1. It's in its final form. I did give this course on, in draft version as well. Um, there were not too many changes to becoming the final version. It's about designing quality into clinical studies. And uh, I'm going to take you uh, through my background, uh, some of the history of how I've got into this area, and then we're going to go into the course. So my name is Andy Lawton. Um, I've been in the industry many, many years, too many to count. Um, I've got experience in virtually every single area. I started as a statistician. In fact, a statistician in uh, geophysics, uh, statistical geophysics, and then swapped over to medicine uh, in 1979. Um, I've dealt with virtually every area of clinical research, so I'm happy to take your questions on whatever topic uh, you have. I did work with the National Health Service. I was with Boehringer Ingelheim for some 32 years. And the last five years, I also worked on Transcellulate. I was seconded to their risk-based monitoring, quality tolerance limits work streams, and several others. And for the past eight years, I've had my own consultancy. And that will come over in the next slide. So this is why I can talk to you today, because I just haven't just worked for Boehringer uh, or Transcelerate, but I've been working for many different companies in a consultancy role, mainly on ICHE6 gap analyses when it moved to version R2 in 2016. But that it also includes the GCP renovation of going to ICHE8. Um, they've varied from top 20 companies all the way down to small biotechs. Uh, I've worked for most of the uh, companies out there in terms of providing risk-based quality ma management systems. Um, and I've also worked for several academic organizations. Now, the learning objectives, I want to give you an understanding of the regulatory direction. I always think it's important that you understand the why the regulators are taking us in this direction. I want to give you a good understanding of quality by design concepts. It is not just critical to quality as uh, the ICHE8 and E6 committees seem to think. It is much bigger than that. When to implement it, and what processes, methods to introduce, and where I think you need to start first. 